Hi, Dave here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Tractor DJ2 alongside the S3 and the interface for more streaming ideas. So today I'm going to be using the Tractor DJ2 alongside the S3 to do a couple of things, and then I want to add the complete audio too, but it could be any interface into a scenario as well. So we're going to split this into three parts. One, we're going to be streaming track to DJ2 with the S3 through an interface into OBS. Part two is going to be the S3 cabled into the iPhone for Instagram, but you can also do part one at the same time. I hope you've got that. And part three is where we're going to go through OBS to Instagram to make some really cool displays and overlays and everything as well. So let's get on to part one. It's a good place to start. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take the S3 and we're going to plug it in. And we're also going to plug in the audio too. But again, we can use any interface for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the XLR outs on the back of the S3 to run this into the audio too. Then what you're going to do is either run the master out into your speakers or the booth out. I always recommend taking out the booth into your speakers, but for this time, because of part two, I'm going to be taking out the master, but bear with me, I will explain all. Now we have the master XLRs going into our interface. We've got the RCAs going into our speaker and we're ready to go. Here we have Tractor DJ2 open up, and then we're going to click the main volume, output settings, and I'm going to choose the S3 as normal. Therefore, I've got complete control over the headphones and the main outs as well. And just to show that, I'm going to load something up, and if I press play, we've got the feed in there, and also we have a feed in here. Next, we have OBS. Now, in my previous video, I actually did this slightly different, so please bear in mind what I'm going to be doing here. Now, if you want to use Tractor Pro 3 internally directly into OBS, I'll put a link up to the video up here, but this is slightly different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click plus, and let's put a camera up just um, so you can see my mush. So you can see the overview here. I can always change it to there. Let's put that back for everyone's sake. You might be eating dinner. And then let's go to input capture. Now, before we use an output capture, we're going to use an input capture. And this time I'm going to select the complete audio two. We can go back to tractor, press play. And if you look, we now have a feed. Now, believe it or not, we don't need an output capture to do this. What I suggest first is to make sure the levels are right. So again, we can alter these here and we've got the master here. So what I do is I make the master nice enough for about zero minus three. Then I can use that for my speakers as well. But remember, it's feeding the masters of both feeding two different things. But we do have independent volumes here. Now it shows that it's peaking there, even though I've got this ready. So that means we can turn this down and this down. So therefore I want to be just under the yellow or just touching the yellow. So I'm happy with that. And that's essentially all you need. Now, if you watch my previous video, you'll see how to use the um, streaming settings and the key. But just for now, I'm just going to hit start record. And this has been thoroughly tested, by the way. And I'm going to stop. So I hit stop record. Stop there. Go into my movies. It all sounds sweet. And that's all you have to do. You just need to use Tractor DJ2 in the normal way. And I'll put a link up now of all the compatible controllers you can use with Tractor DJ2. And it's free as well. So let's go to part two. Now, as I said, part two can be combined with part one to do multiple streaming. So all we need to do is just add a cable and a phone and we can do multiple streaming, which is really cool. So we could leave exactly how the OBS is and we just need to add a cable 
and we can plug it into our phone and therefore we can stream to Instagram using our phone or any other platform you want to through your phone with really good audio, which everything goes through the S3. And we can also run through OBS for something else as well. Now I know there's Restream and Caster and everything to do multiple streaming, but this is really simple and it doesn't cost you any more money. Now I'm taking out these jacks out of the booths and I'm gonna go into this cable here. So I'm going to put another link up on the screen now, which is how you can use the TRS, TRRS and everything, because you need an adapter like this as well. So what I'm going to do is these go into the back here. That then goes into an adapter. That adapter for mine then goes into the lightning adapter. <laughs> and then we can plug this into our phone. So let's go. So this is all set up still, like I said, everything in setup one which is going to here to OBS. But this time, and this is the reason why I went for the master outs into my stereo instead of the booth outs, because the booth outs now are going into this. Now you can run the master into this, and that's not a problem, but the volume has to be turned down quite a lot. So what I wanna do is I've got independent volumes for one master, so I can then use the master <laughs> for the my speakers hope you're following me and then the booth goes into this and just to prove to you I'm going to press play and you see nothing at the moment but if I turn this up you've now got an in so now the sound is recording from the booth out into my phone now I always do a test first because it is very easily too loud for uh, your phone so you need to be able to have a volume on so that's why I know that I won't touch that booth out once I've got the volume right I'm going to leave that as is so you can now stream using your phone to one platform let's just say Instagram because it's you know a phone specific or tablet specific then we've got OBS running to another platform and we can also hear it as well and we can also record on Tractor DJ 2 up here let's just stop that we can record up here for the recordings and it goes into the recordings folder in Tractor DJ 2 and you can also record your recording here as well. So loads and loads of options. So that is part two. Now part three is just through OBS just into Instagram and the reason why this is good is because you can put an overlay at the moment you know if you stream to Instagram via your mobile phone or your tablet you are stuck with what they give you, but you can use anything on OBS through this method. So I'm gonna show you it, and I'm gonna show you the pros and cons to it as well. So we don't need this booth cable anymore. We can get rid of that. If, and if you wanted to, you could make sure that that cable, which is going into our speakers, goes back into the booth, which I personally would do, but for ease of this, we're just gonna leave it. Now, the only difference now is we go to OBS, and we have to change a few things. So now what we do is we go into settings and the main thing is we're gonna to go to video and we're gonna change this. And we're gonna change this to 1080 by 1920. And we're gonna do the same for this one as well. Now I personally don't change anything else. That's going to be my canvas and my output. Now as you can see, it goes like this and obviously that's for Instagram Live. So we can do a number of things. We could put this up here, and then we can also add in a logo. You can see that's massive, so we can resize it. And if we have another camera, we could have something there. I've done multiples before. I've got two cameras running here, and then I have the logo in there, but we could add a, a scrolling text, for example. Let's put that on text there. Now already, now the last thing we need to do is download a piece of software and we need to go to Yellow Duck. So search Yellow Duck, it's yellowduck.tv. So you just need to install it for Windows or Mac. Please remember there are new privacy settings on Windows and Mac now, so you might need to install it twice or allow or open anyway. Just so you know, this is a third party piece of software, so you will need to put in your Instagram details and password. So if you're okay with that, you can follow along for the rest of the video. So put in your details. And then what we get is an RTMP URL and a stream key. So we just copy this, go to your settings, go to stream, paste that, 
which I've done already. And the same stream key goes there. Now I'm just going to copy that. Don't show anyone this. And we can go to start streaming. And if we start streaming and I play this from the beginning and you'll see I'm going live and I can stop streaming. And once I'm done, I can just save and finish. This means that you'll be able to use different scenes or anything that you're used to on OBS streaming for the YouTube and Facebook. You'll also be able to do for Instagram, which is amazing. And not a lot of people do this. So, you know, if you're okay with using Yellow Duck, then go for it and have fun. Thanks for watching. There's still loads of ideas out there on how to stream in different ways. These are the ones that I've researched and I've found the easiest myself. But please do leave a comment below and I'll be happy to have a chat with you. Please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you need to do, and I'll see you next time.